I'm going to meet somebody today. And um, he lives in central Queensland. And he's into extraterrestrial stuff. So it'll be really interesting. I've chatted to him a little bit online. We did like a live stream on Instagram um, where he really put me on the spot with some of his questions because like I don't really talk about this stuff on purpose, like intentionally, because it's like a whole rabbit hole. And I run like a mental health channel and I don't want to like send people like off on like a 10 year long journey of like looking for aliens and shit. Like when they're already like trying to deal with psychiatrists shoving medication down their throat, you know? So yeah, I, I believe there's like more to reality. Obviously, obviously I believe that. You know that at this point. We're multidimensional beings living in a multidimensional world. I work in <laughs> like a way that acknowledges all of it. And that's like part of the beauty of um, what we do. Like we don't treat anybody like they're crazy. We try to understand where they're coming from, understand what they're experiencing, understand what kind of truth there may be to that. We don't just go, none of that's real, like the psychiatric model, like, oh, you're hearing voices? Ah, you got to have some medication. Oh, you're seeing shit? Ah, you got to have some medication. Oh, your beliefs don't match the program that we programmed you with? Ah, you got to have some medication. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, I don't want like to encourage people either to like go too far off the track when they're already under pressure from like mental health. You want to like have a solid anchor in the, in reality, in the matrix that they can't, that no one can rattle so that you, you're solid in the matrix and then you can start to explore and you explore with caution and um, just always remember your anchor back to the program that you're supposed to be in. Because then, as long as you, as long as you can um, stare at, like, as long as you're solid in yourself, like, no one can take your autonomy away from you. There's like human rights stuff in place. There's all these things in place that, like, people don't even realize. Like, people can't just like make you, like, take a, a pill or an injection or like whatever. Like, if they're trying to, or they, they people can't just like lock you up in a mental health facility it's against the law and actually one of the qualifications that I have allows me to advocate on your behalf if you do get in that situation like I can get people taken out of involuntary treatment which is like something I'm really passionate about because I think a lot of people that get sort of locked up in in um, mental health um, don't need to be there they just need some support but the it's complex because one minute I'm talking about aliens, now I'm talking about like the actual mental health system. Anybody who's like taken seriously in the mental health world is not going to take Kai seriously. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, the complexity is like a lot of people who end up trapped in the mental health, on the mental health treadmill <laughs> in the mental health system, it's because they don't have support, they don't have anywhere else to be. Um, their family or their yeah, usually the family, like, they don't know what else to do, so they kind of just, um, yeah, give over, like, control to an organization who then, like, calls the shots. And quite often the individual who is you, if you're the person that's gone through that, is, like, your needs and desires are forgotten because you're, um, you have a disorder or you're broken in some way. And now people are trying to fix you when, yeah, I find like, <laughs> I find it so absurd. I imagine there's people that like really benefit from that kind of intervention, like heaps all the time. Um, but I don't think that those kind of people would be here listening to this kind of journal. And I've got um, really cool interviews on my main channel there's like one particular one um called i don't know it's got predisposition to schizophrenia in the title and it's a fella 
who's been in and out of drug detox and like mental health facilities over and over again until he just decided that he was going to manage it himself and he was he was just going to take it so seriously like because he understood himself he understood why he kept getting triggered into psychosis um but like he just kept allowing himself to get into those spaces and then lose his autonomy and then everybody's telling him what to do so um yeah he he took control of his life and you can do that like to be fair like some people maybe they feel like they can't or they maybe I'll, I'll say they can't like they are like so um so lost in the psychosis and the the confusion and they've gone down so many different rabbit holes and they've just lost they've lost their anchor um but there's still hope for everybody i believe that and i would say to anybody who feels like they've fully just lost it um go to holographic kinetics just go straight there just like and that's the best thing about holographic kinetics not only does it acknowledge like everything like and and like nothing is too crazy in holographic kinetics there's they also know how to deal with it they know how to change it they know how to like get results like they know how to make you understand what's going on inside of you like there's a whole process but like yeah if you feel like you're so lost that nothing is ever going to work just go straight there. If, like for most, most people should just go straight there. It's such a powerful modality. Um, it's what I use on myself. It's what, like I've had like uh, hundreds of hours of holographic kinetics um, before I made all these changes. Like before, yeah, everything started to shift really rapidly, which you know, for me, it was like really intense and I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. But not everybody has to go through like a crazy healing crisis. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but yeah, it can be, yeah, it can be pretty easy. <laughs> it can, like some people will just go, oh, that's what's inside of me. That's what's going to happen. And they just like get off. I I, it's hard to talk about without explaining everything. <laughs> I don't want to explain anything right now. I just want to come back to what I'm thinking and feeling in the present moment. It always makes me feel fucking weird when I talk about weird shit. Like, but it's like the most important shit to talk about because it's like what nobody else is going to ever acknowledge or talk about. Well, how about this? How about this for like a way to wrap it up so that it's, I just think that if you're going to have like a mental health system, like if you're going to have like psychiatrists and psychologists with clipboards taking, like figuring out who's crazy and who's not, like even if none of the fire out stuff is real, even if like magic isn't real, um, like aliens aren't real, like extraterrestrials, UFOs, even if spirits aren't real, even if like entities and interdimensional interference isn't real, even if like everything in the invisible world is actually not real, which is absurd because like, as they always say in holographic kinetics, hand me a thought, you can't because it's invisible, but it's still real. We all have them. We know we do. Um, But yeah, there's like, even if none of it's real, right? There's nothing there's nothing metaphysical like the metaphysics is just uh, all nonsense we still have to make space for people to go through their experiences of that stuff like you can't just say no that's not real don't believe that don't experience that anymore we have drugs to help you stop experiencing that which you will have to take indefinitely because that experience that you're having hasn't been experienced fully hasn't been processed you haven't made sense of it you're going to think about it for the rest of your life trying to understand like why am i why you know so like i just believe like even if all of it's crazy even if all of it is actually just not real you've got to have space for it you've got to have space for people to go on their journeys that's why like i'm always saying let people go on their journeys let people go through all their crazy stuff.
because you're not gonna you're not gonna stop this from happening you're not gonna stop people from exploring it's always going to happen people are always going to want to see what else is there to reality what else is there to life people are just always going to explore and people are going to get lost explorers get lost man we got to send in rescue teams <laughs> and there's like so much out there there's there's so many traps there's so many people trying to exploit the explorers they're setting up these traps like the whole new age world is full of traps it's full of like really deceitful manipulative people that are just trying to like yeah profit from your insanity basically and and the funny thing about that world is like everybody thinks they've got it all figured out like the people that are being exploited like think that they're like they've got it all figured out and their lives are really great maybe i'm like that maybe I, maybe i've i'm an explorer who's lost and i'm being exploited could be but you know what i've got to go on my journey i've got to go through this if somebody just takes me out of it right now and puts me on a medication sits me in a fucking nice white room <laughs> nah <laughs> that's my worst fear a bit like yeah you know like i go back to just like a really normal reality and I like kind of get forced to go there I'll be like well what was going to happen if I kept going if I kept exploring if I like kept looking into all the things that I was looking into it's kind of like a bit of a another one of those things that like it's a privilege to be able to explore it's a privilege to be able to question it's a privilege to be able to have the freedom to like go insane <laughs> like and to like to go off the path completely and just like ask all the questions that you want to ask and like not not everybody has that and that's sort of what I'm pretty passionate about you know that's why like I want people to feel I want people to have the freedom to, to explore without getting like yeah forced into any any kind of program or yeah <laughs> it's funny a lot of people get triggered by it by like my my level of like how much i will let somebody explore and like but it's it's also like i i do research as well you know i've watched all the ted talks read all the books lectures read research papers like and um like the, my approach to mental health is based on like everything it's 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 not just lived experience it's not just my own crazy ideas like i i've done the study as well and i understand that you don't just tell somebody who's in an altered state or in psychosis or like having a really like distorted view of the world you, you don't just go up to them and tell them they're wrong that's like so that's everything 101 everybody knows that like you don't do that you never go up to somebody who's like losing their shit and telling tell them that what they're experiencing isn't real you, you get them you ask them questions about it you, so you get them to explore the validity of their experience and you get them to dismantle it and you get them to find out the truth for themselves it's not so much a manipulation it's just you don't think of it like that you think of it like a genuine exploration like you're, you're just trying to question you're just trying to understand and it might act and you will find yourself genuinely interested and curious because as they're sharing with you like everything that's going on inside them you'll start to realize that there are patterns here there is truth here there is some kind of experience that's taking place that isn't just scrambled eggs you know it's fucking real there's something it's it's that nothing that's going on inside of you is arbitrary nothing that's going on inside you like has nothing that's going on inside of you is happening for no reason it's all it's all connected it's all related and if you can sit with it and you can process it and understand it then you'll understand yourself and the more it seems like scrambled eggs at the beginning <laughs> scrambled eggs you know like just 
a total mess. Um, the more beautiful it's going to be when you realize what it really is, because it's just, it just means it's complex. It just means that you've got a real rich, uh, experience that's going on inside of you. And it's going to like it, the richer and more complex it is, the more beautiful it's going to be and more like outstanding. The gifts are going to be that you're going to be able to give to the world with your understanding of that stuff, because it's like a collective puzzle as much as it's an individual puzzle. That's why my logo is like the Rubik's cubes all coming together because like we're working together to understand well, like as much as like I, I can understand my, I can't like really pass on my understanding. We can all connect and we can share stories and song and art and talk and just like come together to understand like what we're all doing here. And like the people that are going through the most hectic stuff and having the most richest, most vibrant and just ecstatic, wild experiences and they're, they're integrating all of that and then they're able to come and share stories, share art, create and connect with others and show others that it's inside of them too. Like that's what's going to help like evolve like the collective, like just having all those unique perspectives instead of this like trying to like homogenize everybody, make everybody the same and similar, squeeze them all through the same hole like so they all they all match that's not evolution that's what's making us sick that's what's making us that's what's stopping us from growing because we're too afraid to ask the questions we're too afraid to look where we're not supposed to look we're too afraid that we're going to be crazy and we're going to be ostracized from our community locked up in a white padded room and force fed medication don't be afraid but make sure that you fucking have that solid anchor that's my advice like if you're going to explore, stay connected. <laughs> I say as I've been fucking out here by myself <laughs> for this long. But yeah, I'm solid and I'm, I am connected. We've got this technology <laughs> keeping in touch with people. Yeah, and even, if, yeah, I'm going on a journey. I guess that's what I'm saying too. This is my declaration. <laughs> I'm going on the journey uh, and I've, I've been on the journey for fucking years and I'm going to keep going and get through to the other side. Well, there is no other side. I'm just going to continue growing and enjoying the human experience. So yeah, um, this is a bit of a, -hoo -hoo. if you enjoyed it, click the like button for me, leave your comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to keep ice in the esky and fuel in the car, you can check the description for links. Um, there's cool ways to do that, like help support the project. And I'll see you shortly. <laughs>